Good, how are you? Yes, so good to meet you. Welcome. This is something new. Um, this big screen here is will be the other half of that painting over there. So there's a lot going on in here. This is definitely um, my experimental space, but I have to keep this space clean compared to where I weld because of the drawings, which are all kept very pristine on the white paper. And I, I need, I'm very much a sculptor first, first and foremost. So I make the sculpture first and the drawings began as a way really to um, document the pieces. And it's funny because to make one piece of sculpture, the, the whole process from beginning to end is many, many months of work. So many months of work. So I suppose I started drawing from them to make them work a little harder. Like I was thinking of them as snapshots. And I realised if I rotated the sculptures and flattened the picture plane back on the page that they started creating these really lovely um, works within themselves. And then that's taken off as a whole completely other, you know, area of my practice. I do just as much drawing as I do sculpture now, but I can't draw without the sculptures first. Like the whole process begins with walking, with me walking in the bush and gathering, um, you know, natural materials, in this case, a lot of eucalyptus and gum. And in a way, they're like a little monument to the Australian bush, like a little celebration of that beauty, of that beautiful gnarly line that you can get when you cast from those. So important, an important part is collecting the material in the first place, because I live in the middle of Sydney. I can't just go and grab it from the yard, even though I, I do source things from the yard all the time. Um, but yeah, and when you're going on those great long walks, you know, you, you start breathing in time with it, your foot, footprints are making a beat. You know, you sort of start this whole rhythm of collecting the right parts. And I can't even explain why that branch will be the one that I need and a hundred others will not be. But um, I get very specific about what I collect and what I pick up and then that's the beginning of a new collection. These are, the, these are the drawings that are very similar to the ones you're getting. But they look lovely, they're really, they're really clean and sort of strong, strong line. And I get very interested in getting that black, black, dense line with the charcoal. So yeah, it's interesting because people often see them in a show and they think they're prints and they're not, they're charcoal drawings. So they're very, very fragile. And um, yeah, I like this velvety, look at this. This velvety denseness. I get very interested in that. These are yours, Paul, these little pears. They have been such a joy to make. I think what was so lovely about making these was that it took me right back to, um, it took me back to centre in a way because they're smaller works and they're more playful and it was just fun to make them. Like I didn't, you know, I'm not busting myself lifting big heavy parts. And um, they came together so easily because it was just fun to rediscover those because I haven't worked on a small, smaller scale for a while. So for, for a while, things have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until they're like, you know, 10 metres of, of bronze sculpture. So to come right back and hone back to the beginning has been such a joy. Thank you. <laughs> it's been nice to make them. And they made beautiful little drawings too. I think I like this little pair the best. Yeah, hopefully they hold it, hold people's attention for a while. Do you want to do some welding? <laughs> do you want to make, have a cuppa while I get changed? Wait, don't be sick. I feel, I feel like a, a fake welding in this. I'll try one piece in there and go, oh no, that doesn't work. And if I do think it works, I'll attach it in. So yeah, it's a lot of play in here and it's a really nice part of the process because you've done all that leading up to this point. So this feels really re rewarding because all of a sudden it's all coming together. And sometimes I walk inside and go, oh, I made a sculpture in a day. But of course it took me, um, you know, six months to get to this point of collecting and wrapping and binding. And then the casting takes many weeks out at the foundry and then cleaning all these up so that you've got something to start with. It's a long, slow process. 
can I just put a bit more in there before I get, because I'll knock it over. And um, it's where I'm happiest, when I'm all welded up, when I'm all suited up. It's like when you're in that, when you're all suited up and I think I love welding because it takes 100% of your concentration, like you can't vague out or, you know, you electrocute yourself, burn yourself. So I find when I'm in that space, all the chatter stops and you're just concentrating on this one tiny pin of light.